My name is Michael Hubbard, Michael James Hubbard Jr. I'm 36 years old. My childhood was um, it was a good childhood, but uh, I did live, grow up in a single family home where uh, there wasn't a lot of love, I guess you could say. It was a uh, kind of divided, divided home, and uh, basically I went through a lot, a lot of struggles, a lot of uh, we didn't have a lot of money, went through a lot of hardships. Um, and then my father passed away very young, which he's the one that raised me. So it took it, it, took it hard. He was, we were very close. Even though we didn't have a lot, he was, he was, we were very close. And he didn't show a lot of love, but uh, you know, he was a very uh, strong-minded man. You know, he didn't show a lot of love. He was, went through a lot, and his, he was a, uh, an alcoholic for many years. He went through a lot in Vietnam. And uh, so it's understandable. Now that I'm older, I understand, you know, he went through a lot. So, you know, as a child, I didn't understand it. But, uh, and once he was passed away, I took it really, really hard. My name is Jasmine Hubbard. I am 24 years old. I didn't know Mike at the time, but I met him. She, I always knew who he was. I didn't meet him until after he came out of jail. And she, that's when she, he moved in with them. And, um, we, I would see him when I would go over because she's one of my best friends. So I started seeing him when I would go over to her house and he, for her birthday, he asked us if we wanted to go to Vegas to celebrate. And when we went to Vegas, that was the first time that me and Mike actually hung out. And um, from then on, we, we established a relationship. I could say as a young person and as a, I did a lot of negativity, got into a lot of bad situations, a lot of negative situations with wrong people, bad people you could say, and then uh, ended up me going to prison for five years for making bad decisions. It's no excuse. I, it actually became a, a blessing and I took it, everything I learned, I got out of prison as a, into a positive and snapped out of the negativity that I had when I was a young, when I was young. And then um, I took everything that I, all the positives I learned from being in prison and all the, took it in as a, as a blessing instead of a negative situation. And I came out with a, uh, with a lot of ambition and, uh, and I really wanted to, achieve a lot when I got out of prison and to this day I have achieved a lot and basically I achieved a lot because um, I set my mind to it I got the negativity out of my head set goals and when I came out I had nothing I came out to the, from zero and uh, now I own two companies I do very well and, and our companies are growing and growing I do a lot of importing exporting and do a lot of uh, business with from China from India and uh, I never took a lot of hard work a lot of hours but um, kept my mind straight and focused and I achieved it and I came from nothing from prison having nothing to being very happy while we were dating um, I remember when um, he was barely starting his um, company cozy cool for his AC business he was showing me his design, like as into how would it be, how would it look better, just asking for advice. And, um, so I started, I was with him as soon as he started that, and um, it's going good. And then my first company is Cozy Cool, and what we do is uh, we have our own line of uh, AC units, mini split units, which we um, install and for different companies, different people install them in their homes. It's based on our own brand. And uh, so we decided, he decided, I mean, um, to go and um, make the, the vape business, which is OG Republic. The company is uh, OG Republic, which is where a high-end mod manufacturer company for the vape industry. 